So because we're going to be using Microsoft Excel quite a bit in this course, here's a very, very minimal refresher. You should also read the Excel basics thing as well as short, short, um, the shortcut stuff um, and also look at the if and some product video that's out on Blackboard for some other Excel stuff. Again, I'm expecting that you have passed ABU 190 or Business 195, the spreadsheet course, or tested out of it, meaning that you should know a lot about spreadsheets or a fair amount. So let's start with the very ba basics. Definitions. We have a workbook, a worksheet, and a cell. So what are they? Are they the same thing or are they different? I hope you said they're different because they are. A workbook is the thing that you open up when you open up Excel. A workbook contains multiple, one or more, worksheets. So you can have a workbook with only one worksheet or you can have a workbook with two worksheets or three or four or whatever however many worksheets you want some people call those tabs down at the bottom and by default they name them sheet one sheet two blah 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 uh, but they are actually worksheets so then what's a cell well that's easy it's just a the intersection of a row and a column Right. So in Excel, we have rows and columns, and it's the intersection of a row and a column. References. There are two different ways to reference cells, absolute versus relative. Relative reference means that if I copy the formula within that cell and move it somewhere, it will try to move the where it's pointing to those other cells with it. If instead I make it absolute reference, the way I see this is by looking at the formula and it's with dollar signs in front of the column and the row number both then it will stay fixed or anchored at that particular place even if I m copy the formula and move it to a different place we can also have just uh, the column as absolute but the row as relative or just the row as absolute and the column as relative or both of them absolute or both of them relative Formulas, they begin with an equal sign. You can also use the insert function button to help find the appropriate formulas. It's a little F sub X button up at the top close to the formula bar. We'll be using uh, lots of different ones, but again, if and some product are two that we're going to be using quite a bit um, later on. Earlier on, we'll do stuff like average, uh, median, mode, that kind of stuff. Autofill is often useful. <clears throat> what this does is allows me to fill in automatically or copy a formula down automatically. The easiest way to do this is to move your mouse pointer over to the cell that you want copied down and uh, move it to the bottom lower right hand corner of the cell and it should turn to a black plus sign versus the white like red cross plus sign it'll turn to a black plus sign and then you can just double click and it goes all the way down you can of course drag it down but you know that's up to you and then there are lots and lots of different keyboard shortcuts that would probably make your life a lot easier if you knew them so there's a link on blackboard which I showed you before where you can look at those um, the actual keyboard sh shortcuts that are put out by Microsoft support page uh, there's a version for Windows. There's also a version for <clears throat> uh, Mac. To make a cell absolute instead of relative, after you enter in the cell or click on the cell in an equal sign, click on the cell, then you can hit F4 on a Windows machine, or sometimes you have to hold down your function key and then hit F4, depending on how you have your keyboard set up. Um, on a Mac, I think it's like Control t or something like that or command t right? so look those over and again this was very very minimal refresher for excel you should make sure you get yourself reacquainted if it's been a while